Hello everyone. In this session, we are going to look at some of the material in Chapter 2, Project Selection and Management. Specifically, we're going to discuss some of the activities that the team must go through for project selection. We're going to look at creating a project plan. Uh, we're going to spend quite a bit of time looking at alternative system development lifecycle approaches and perhaps we'll look at some project management tasks. So here are some of the learning objectives, trying to give you some sense of how projects are selected in some organizations. What's the process? There are a lot of competing projects that uh, an organization want to develop, a lot of competing information systems development projects. How do they select? How do they choose which ones to go forward with and which ones not to? We're going to spend quite a bit of time looking at various approaches to the system development lifecycle that can be used depending on the characteristics of the development project. And that's really a focus of this chapter, how to select a project methodology based on project characteristics. These other points are of lesser importance. So let's take a look at project selection first. That will be what this video looks at. So how do you choose? There's more demand for developing different IS projects in an organization. And we're talking about large scale um, information system development projects that are used by perhaps hundreds of people in an organization. And these information systems are supposed to help the organization move, achieve its goals and objectives, and it should help the organization perform activities that align with its strategic purpose. So, so how do they choose which projects to go with and which not? Well, that's what we're going to look at there is a project portfolio management approach that is often taken. So there are various ways to categorize projects. You can categorize them based on their size, and size in this case refers to staffing, how many people uh, will have to be dedicated to the project. They can be categorized based on cost, and cost means dollars, the investment required to complete the system development project. The purpose of the information system, is it strategic? Is it technical? Does it simply help operational requirements, operational procedures? The length of time to develop it? What is the risk of succeeding or failing? What is the scope of the project? And scope in this sense means how much of the organization will be affected and will actually use this information system. And finally, what is the economic value? That is, what sort of intrinsic value or monetary return will the organization actually realize when the project is successfully implemented? Now I should note, again, what we're talking about are large-scale organizational information systems that often take years to develop and will be used by many of the organization personnel, perhaps hundreds of people. Okay, so in the initial selection, there generally is some sort of approval committee. Now, often many organizations will just have a CIO, a chief information officer, who has this, the, the go, no go say. But at other times, there might be some sort of a senior level committee comprised of the CIO, perhaps the CEO, chief, in, chief executive officer, and perhaps a, a vice president of, of finance and maybe a vice president of operations that will consider project proposals submitted by managers in the organization, project development proposals, and they will look at these and see how the project fits in to the entire portfolio of projects for the company. 